Hey y'all, it's Stacy with southernbite.com. We're back in the kitchen today making one of my favorite desserts, especially in the summertime. This is my mom's recipe for peach cobbler. Now, you're gonna need about four cups of sliced peaches for this recipe. For me, large peaches like this, it took three to four peaches to give me four cups. If they're smaller than this, you're gonna need more, maybe five, six, even seven peaches to give you that four cups of sliced peaches. Now, of course, fresh peaches are best, but if you don't have fresh peaches, you can use frozen sliced peaches and just replace them in the recipe. To get these ready, I've cooked them in about three cups of water and about a half a cup of sugar. 10 to, about 10 minutes is all it takes till they're nice and soft. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just drain these away and put the peaches right in the bottom of a nine by 13 inch baking dish that I've sprayed with non-stick cooking spray. Cooking the peaches in advance just gives us a little bit of a head start and makes the bake time a little bit shorter. We're gonna put these right in here and then we're also going to take about a half a cup of this cooking liquid from the peaches to pour right on top, just like that. Now, to make all the delicious cobbler, we're going to use about a nine ounce box of Jiffy Yellow Cake Mix that we're just gonna sprinkle right on the top of this. There's nothing scientific about this method. It's just a matter of combining all the ingredients and putting it in the oven. I've got about a quarter cup of sugar and about a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. We're just gonna whisk those together. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna sprinkle this sugar cinnamon mixture right over the top. And then over it, we're going to pour about a quarter cup of melted butter. Just like that. I'm gonna use a butter knife to just slightly swirl this together. We wanna to get some of that cooking liquid combined with the cake mix. And that's all there is to it. This is gonna bake, uh, like I said, in a preheated oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. Got one already ready here. You're gonna bake till it's nice and golden brown. You can see the bubbles starting to come up on the top. This is great served warm just by itself. It's great with a little heavy cream poured over it or even a big scoop of vanilla ice cream. You can find this recipe and hundreds more on my website at southernbike.com. Just visit the Simply Southern TV tab right at the top. Y'all enjoy. A lot of folks on Stacy's website posted that this recipe is good with canned peaches as well. But you know, Mary, I have to believe that it's best with fresh peaches from in and around Chilton County, Alabama. I would believe that's true. They're typically available from May to September. You can find a farmer's market or roadside stand near you that sells them if you visit sweetgrownalabama.org. But for the recipe, go to Stacy's website at southernbite.com. Well, if Stacy's done cooking, we must be done with Simply Southern for this week. I hope we can all get back together again next week when I'll be talking with folks about something most people don't think about in the colder months, fresh vegetables from local farmers markets. And we'll visit with students and mentors in the Eagles program at Auburn University, where they're creating a more inclusive culture for people with intellectual disabilities. I'm Mary Wilson. And I'm Kevin Worthington. We'll see you then. Simply Southern is produced by the Alabama Farmers Federation and made possible with the support of Alabama Farmers Cooperative and these sponsors.